In today's video, we'll be going over the boss mode feature that's recently been released by Jarvis or Conversion.ai as it was previously known as. The new boss mode feature promises to make your output a lot more higher quality while increasing the speed of your writing. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of the new features and functionality that you get within the boss mode to see whether or not it's worth making the upgrade to. So if you're on any plan such as the pro or starter plan, or pretty much any plan that doesn't include boss mode, right now Jarvis only sees up to 600 characters. So what that means is if you don't have boss mode, then Jarvis only sees up to 600 characters. So Jarvis will only be able to see, let's say maybe this amount of the whole document. Now, what that means is, is that if Jarvis is able to see a lot more characters than one, it'll be able to output much more relevant content. And two, it's going to be able to follow the whole pattern of the document. But if you're on the pro or starter plan, then Jarvis is only limited to 600 characters. So that's why sometimes when you're writing, you may see duplicate content, or you may see Jarvis start writing about a topic that's not related to what you're writing about. So because of the limited amount of characters that Jarvis can see, you get more duplicate content and it's harder for Jarvis to follow your pattern or the pattern of the document because it only has a limited range of characters. Now with boss mode, Jarvis now sees between 2000 and 3000 characters. Instead of only being able to recognize this amount of text or even this amount of text, Jarvis will be able to now recognize a lot more of your characters. So as you write a lot more, Jarvis is going to be able to pick up on what you're writing, which means that when it's time to click compose or get output, it should be a lot more relevant and a lot more higher quality because Jarvis actually knows what you're writing about. So with the ability to see between two and 3000 characters, you should be able to get less duplicate content and Jarvis will now be easier for it to follow your documentation pattern. And this should all lead to better output. Another new feature included in boss mode is the ability to do commands. So what that means is, is that now you're able to give prompts to Jarvis and it'll actually give you output depending on the prompt that you give it. So for instance, you can write Jarvis, write me a paragraph in your document and click enter and Jarvis will start writing you an intro paragraph, a conclusion or whatever command that you give it. And the last huge update that you get on boss mode is the unlimited compose button. So previously how it worked, if you were writing a blog, you would need to give input in order to get output from Jarvis. But as you can see within the boss mode, you're now able to just continually click compose which means you don't have to you know, think about different content or think about different words. And it's pretty cool because you can just click compose and click as much as you want and Jarvis will continue to give you outputs. So this all sounds good, but is it actually worth the investment to upgrade to the boss mode? That's the question that we're going to be answering in this video. So to really understand the new features and functionality of boss mode, we're going to use it to create a blog. And as you can see, right off the bat, you can see that the compose button is available. So that means we can start composing from here. But of course, that's not a great idea because we have no inputs on the title or the description or even on the actual document. So we're first going to test out Jarvis commands. So we're going to give it a list of commands and see what sort of outputs we get. So we're going to start by asking Jarvis to write us blog titles for the topic of gardening. And as you can see, to run a Jarvis command, all you need to do is click the command and enter. And once you do so, Jarvis will start giving you an output. So if we copy this and we click command, enter, we should start getting some ideas. And there you go, as you can see, we get three pretty good ideas. And if you're not happy with your outputs, then you can do Command Z to undo the changes, which means we'll go back 
to our command that we want it to do. And if we want to run it again, again, we'll just highlight it, command enter. And as you can see, we got some pretty good outputs here. So I'm going to use the middle output, which is 10 edible plants every garden should have. And so what we want to do now is we want to get a brief or a content brief for this blog post. And all we have to do is then give Jarvis a command. So I've asked Jarvis to give me a content brief for the sentence above. So let's see what sort of outputs we get. So this was a pretty good output by Jarvis and we can use this content brief to update the left hand side and as we continue writing the article that will allow us to get better output from Jarvis. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, paste it into the content brief and I'm going to write another command for Jarvis. Okay so the command is for Jarvis to write an intro paragraph for the topic above. And again, we've copied the content brief over here to just give it a little bit more of an input so that it increases the likeliness that we'll get a better output. So once you're happy, command enter. And as you can see guys, this is a pretty good intro paragraph that we got. And this is all pretty cool because now we're not even composing, like I haven't even composed once. I've just used Jarvis commands, which is pretty mind boggling when you think about it. Like to be able to get this amount of content and we haven't even composed or even written one sentence. So that's pretty cool. Let's continue and see what else we can do with Jarvis boss mode. So now that we have an intro paragraph, I'm gonna copy the title here to see if we can get a blog post outline from Jarvis. Okay, so Jarvis write a blog post outline for the topic above and let's do command enter. Okay, so let's try Jarvis write a blog post outline for the sentence above. Now let's see if that makes a difference. And the best part is, is that if Jarvis commands isn't working or you're not able to get the output from the command, you can always go back to the power mode, head over to blog post outline. And from here, we'll include the title, paste it in, and you can always get your blog post outline from using the power mode or using another template. And as you can see here, by using the blog post outline template, we're able to get exactly what we're looking for, a list of plants that everyone should have. And that's the beauty about Jarvis. If one method isn't working, then you have a slew of other different methods that you can use to get your output that you need. So right here again, we just use the blog post outline and we're gonna paste it in. Boom, boom, boom. So now that we have the intro paragraph, and we have the list of edible plants or our blog post outline that we want to use, we're going to start clicking compose and seeing what sort of outputs we're going to get. So I'm just going to make sure that Jarvis knows that this is a new title and I'm going to take out the numbers. And now that we have our intro paragraph and the outline for our blog post ready, I'm going to try two different ways to see which is the better way of getting output. So the first method is I'm just going to click compose. So I'm going to leave everything as is the content brief as is. And I've put the hashtags here to make sure that Jarvis knows that this is a new headline. So I'm going to click compose and see what sort of output we get. Okay. So as you can see, we got some pretty good output here and let's compare this to if we just used Jarvis commands, to get an output about parsley. So again, Jarvis, write a paragraph about parsley, command enter, and let's see what we get. And again, you get some pretty good output as well. So what you could do is you can use both of these methods and then combine it together to get a much more high quality paragraph. But the great thing is, is that you have a couple options 
when it comes to getting your output. And again, we're going to do the same thing for Basil. So I'm going to click Compose and see what sort of output we get. Again, pretty cool stuff. And let's see if we continue clicking Compose, if we're going to get a better output. And as you can see, Jarvis sort of started to talk about lettuce and radishes, even though that wasn't in the list. Now, sometimes these things do happen, but again, if you wanted to keep lettuce within your list, I mean, it does go well within this blog post. So sometimes it works out for the better. Sometimes it doesn't make sense, but there's no denying that we're getting some really, really high quality content very, very quickly. Again, you just want to continue to do this with everything that's on your list. But as you can see, this is pretty cool stuff. Like we're able to get some content out very quickly. And the beauty about using boss mode is that the compose button is always there. So you'll never run out of content because you don't have to essentially give it as much inputs as you need it to on the pro or the starter plan. And you want to keep in mind that this still is an AI. So it's not going to be 100% perfect, nor is it going to write all of the content for you. You need to guide and steer this machine into the direction that you want it to go. But as you can see, it's a very, very powerful machine. And if you steer it correctly, you can get some pretty high quality content very quickly. And once you're finished formatting, editing and going over your blog, another cool command that you can use is to tell Jarvis to write a conclusion paragraph for this blog. So simply just type it in again and just click command enter. And within a matter of seconds, you already have a conclusion and your blog post is pretty much complete. On the surface, it may not seem like boss mode is worth upgrading because when you look at the features, it's kind of the same thing that's included in the pro plan. But when you actually dig a little bit deeper and you go into the long form assistant, that's where you can really see the power of boss mode. And as you guys saw, we were able to create some pretty high quality content using boss mode and we combine it with the compose, with the commands and with the templates. And by having all of those different features in your arsenal, it makes writing long form content much easier than before. So if you do a lot of long form content, then I highly recommend that you upgrade or you get the boss mode plan. Especially if you're on the pro plan, 10 bucks extra to have these features is well worth it. We're going to leave a link below this video in which you can sign up for a free trial and try out the boss mode features for yourself. And as usual, if you guys found this tutorial to be helpful, then we ask that you give this video a like and that you subscribe for more tutorials. Until next video, stay well.